So what's going on guys, it is JM, it is to be boxing. Make sure you guys subscribe to this channel before you click on to any of the videos. Also comment below in the comment section if you guys have any opinions on what I'm saying in any of the videos. Like always, it's appreciated if you guys could drop me a quick sub or two on my channel. So it's finally on, it's finally been made. The rumours have been true. David Price will take on Alexander Povetkin for the WBA and WBO international titles on the undercard of Anthony Joshua and Joseph Parker on March 31st. And this is a very risky fight for David Price. A lot of people are calling it suicide for David Price because David Price is coming off some brutal losses these past few years, you know what I mean? And fighting someone so formidable and dangerous as an Alexander Povetkin, like a lot of people are wondering why David Price is even doing this, why this fight is even being sanctioned. Like, I think this fight might be even... Yeah, because the WBA international title is on the line. So, I'm suspecting this fight's an eliminator. So, this is all or nothing for David Price. He's gambling, you know what I mean? Because he's way down there in terms of getting a shot at a world heavyweight title. But but if he beats Alexander Povetkin, like, one punch or something like that could change David Price's whole career around. Because David Price has the punching power in the heavyweight division. People can say what you want about david price he's slow he's stiff he can't take a punch but it's one thing about david price that he always has and that's that equalizer and that's his punching power and if he hits alexander povetkin on the chin then the fight could totally turn on its head in david price's favor because a lot of people are expecting alexander alexander povetkin to brutally knock out david price or to beat him up and to stop him you know what i mean but he's gambling david price he's 34 years old he's thinking you know what it's now or never with this win, I can get a shot at a world title that I've always dreamed of having, you know what I mean? But now people are calling David Price the new Audley Harrison and stuff like that. And, you know what I mean? David Price is such a big man. He's, what, six foot eight, And, you know what I mean? He's so big, but he just don't know how to use his movement. Like, Tyson Fury is six foot eight, six foot nine, And he can use his movement fantastically. But with David Price, it's the total polar opposite. Like, he just looks... Very awkward in there, and not in a good way. He looks awkward, he looks stiff, he looks slow. But he does have that punching power, and you know what I mean? That is his equaliser, and that's something he can pull out of a bag of tricks. But you know what I mean? This is very risky for David Price for his health. Because if he gets brutally knocked out again, like, what's that doing to his health? Because a couple of years ago, he got brutally knocked out by Erkin Tepper. He was beaten up and stopped by Christian Hammer. He was knocked out by Tony Thompson twice, you know what I mean? So, you want fighters to be safe, and a lot of people are thinking, why is this fight even being sanctioned? But it is what it is at the end of the day. It's all or nothing for David Price. He's had a look at his career. This opportunity came up, and he's thought, you know what? I could lose. I could brutally get knocked out. But if luck's on my side, then my career changes, and I'm up there again. So, I understand why David Price is doing it. A lot of people, if they were in David Price's situation, they would do the same. But, you know what I mean, with his punch-resistant problems and Alexander Povetkin, even though he is a few years older than David Price. And I do think Alexander Povetkin isn't the fighter he was a few years ago. And that might be because he's not on PEDs anymore. That's what a lot of people are saying. He is the fresher fighter. He hasn't took as much damage as somebody like a David Price. And in my opinion, he's more talented than a David Price. And he's a lot more formidable, so... Is what it is. Comment below in the comment section. What do you guys think of this? It's JM. It's Speed Boxing.